Last week I deleted a file, but now I want it back. Let's see how I can recover it with git. The command you need is git restore, which basically lets you grab a file from anywhere in the history. But for example, if you just deleted this file, even without doing a commit, you basically need just git checkout and by specifying head and the path of the file, with this simple command you can see the file appearing again. A slightly worse scenario is if after deleting the file you also did git add, git commit and now you still want your file back. Well, you can do the same git checkout head command but in this case if you run it like we just did it will say that the file does not exist because in the head the file is not there but if we go back by one commit then this is gonna work. In all the other cases, if for example the file has been deleted some time ago and some merges and some commit happen in between, then git restore is definitely what you need. With this command you can basically time travel to a specific hash and then grab any file you want that was obviously present in that specific commit. Now, this is easy if we know a specific commit where the file exists, otherwise well, first of all, subscribe to the channel and then I will tell you. So let's delete again this file and let's see what happens. Again, let's imagine this file has been committed some time ago. So delete. And let's say we no longer have this file in this branch, but we know it is on main. So with this command, we can specify that the source is origin main. And then this is the usual path of the file. If I hit enter, then there it is the file appears and it is at the state it is currently on main. A slightly worse scenario is if we know that the file was existing at some point, but it was maybe a few weeks ago and it's no longer on main. So how can we restore it? Because we do not know which commit had the latest version of that file. In this case, we can use this log command, which basically shows us all the commits which had some deleted files. For example, here, the 25th of August, I deleted an old template and this is the path. So I know that this is the hash of that commit. But the thing is, in case you have a lot of commits and you have no idea how to find that specific one, you can add here at the end of the command, the path of the file you're looking for. For example, I can use this one. And if I run the command with this filter, nothing happens, because you obviously don't have to add typos in the name. Okay, now I see that this specific file has been deleted in this specific commit, which if we grab the command we just used, it will no longer be origin main, but it will be this commit here, so I can just copy it and paste it. It is no longer middleware.ts, oops. It is no longer middleware.ts, but is graphql slash index.ts. And if I run this command, it says that the file did not exist. And the reason is quite simple. This is the commit when this file has been deleted. So if we want to restore the file, we have to go to the commit before that one. And we know that if we add here tilde and the number one, it means that we want to go at the commit, one commit, before this one. And it is exactly the commit where this file was. And well, you can find it here. And now I just recovered this file, which I deleted a lot of time ago, like six months ago, with basically two commands. The first one to find where the commit was, and the second one to grab this file from the commit before this one. Before leaving, there's just one thing I want to add. Sometimes you can also go back in the commit history by undoing commits, and that's why I made specifically this video to guide you through this feature. I hope you found this video helpful, I hope you also subscribe to my channel, and with that said, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!